Hey guys, I wanted to make a roller skate sizing video. I actually came across a, another video about a Rydell Skate 395 boot. And uh, he was teaching us how to size the boots since they're, they're not cheap and you want to get the right fit. And basically, um, the guy had a pair of running sneakers that were size 10, uh, dress shoes size 9, and an Alpine Star riding boot, size nine and a half. And his Rydell skates were an eight and a half. So, I mean, I was judging off this guy's sneakers that I'd be right around the same size as him, maybe a half size bigger. And currently I had an older set of Carrera skates and they were a size 10 and they were really tight. So, I mean, after watching this video, I figured you know, maybe the size has changed over time, and uh, I do need a smaller size. But, I mean, I did more research because I wanted to be sure. And if you go to Rydell's site and print all these papers out, this is a nice size chart. It's going to come in a two-page paper. You can just tape it together. You fold it on the dotted lines and uh, fold it on this dotted line and put your heel against it right against a wall and you should be getting an accurate number my foot was between a 10 and a 10 and a half and then there's the the last size it's basically the width of your foot there's a few different charts here like one of them's an international chart and they have a, a high cup boot low cup boot you just have to look for the right model here so you know, 395. They give you this too. It's like a little paper tape measure. You can just print it out and you can wrap that around your foot and you can get a pretty accurate measurement. And I mean, I landed right in the standard width and my feet are pretty wide. And just going over the differences, I mean, my running shoes are a size 10 and a half, motocross boots, Fox, size 11, Dockers dress shoes, size 10, Rydell skates, size 10 and a half. I actually ordered these skates, you know, four weeks ago, and I got a good discount on them. I just bought the boot and the plates, but they actually came with the wrong plates. Uh, they came with these, uh, the Reactor Neo plates, which, you know, they're nice, but that's not what I paid for. So they had to special order the, uh, the plates I was supposed to get here. Obviously, these ones are a little nicer. I mounted them yesterday. Uh, they're fully adjustable. The trucks on them are adjustable, as you can see. Right here. I wanted to go over some of the things on the boots because, you know, these things, they're not cheap. Honestly, these skates all together with the wheels, um, the plates, the boots, you're looking at around, you know, $800, right over $800. I had a discount, so I paid significantly less. Now, the boots are made specifically for speed skating. I'm more, a, more of an aggressive skater, so... I needed something that was going to hold up because I go a few times a week and I like to get a little crazy on them. And my son started skating now, so he's only five, but he's doing really well. If you can see right here, this is the right boot. You can see a line right here. There's actually plates in these boots. The right and left boot are different from one another. 
the right boot is going to have a plate that goes all the way along the back side to the front side. It's actually a piece of thin plastic that's going in between the leather in here. And that's because when you're going around a counterclockwise you know, circuit, you're putting more pressure on the outside of the boot here. Whereas, you know, the other boot, the other skate, it's got no, no plates on the side here. It's got some on the heel and some on the inner. And again, that's all for pressure. These things are specially made to last. They're made out of really good leather. Everything is hand stitched. You know, it's all made in the USA, made by hand. These are a sewn together boot and it's actually stapled in the heel. I mean, you get what you pay for nowadays. I like to buy something once and have it last. I don't like buying things over and over again. But like I said, go to Rydell's website. You can get you can get these printout charts right from there. So I mean, there's no confusion. Don't try going a step down from any size on your shoe because that's just guesswork. And when you're spending this much money, you don't want to do that. So like I said, my skates are a size 10 and a half, dress shoes are a size 10, riding boots size 11, and my running shoes are size 10 and a half. I hope this helps anyone that's looking for skates. God bless.